Hi, how are you? I hope you're having a good Saturday. Got some interesting responses to the blog last night. Um, do you know what you want? <laughs> um, I found them all very interesting. Uh, but uh, I want to respond to the two that stand out. First, Shelly with E on the end. Um, I am honored to have been the messenger and grateful that you were able to hear whatever it was you needed to hear. So, um, thank you and, um, and you're welcome. <laughs> I thought it was, uh, you know, you're right. We hear what we need to in the most mysterious ways. Things are said to us. So, if you got what you needed, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, Roger, I think it was so brave and bold for you to put what you want, something so clear, up on the blog. And what you don't understand is that you so activated, you know, the universe. I mean, you really put it out there. You have no idea who could be listening to the blog or reading the blog and seeing your comment. So, I personally do not have that information. But, I will say this. Anyone that knows how to get into sports management that could let Roger know, please do. Or contact me and I'll tell Roger. But, um, Roger, I commend you. I thought that was cool that you you were so clear. Um, and I think that was wonderful. And to my other Shelly, I have no doubt that you will achieve what you want to achieve. Because you said the main thing, which was, it's getting up and doing it. And that's it. It's about the path, which is um, my question for tonight, which is, do you know how to get there? Do you know how to get where you want to go? I think the average person, and this is just my opinion, of course, has um, never really thinks about what they want to do. I have a lot of friends that have just landed places, and they, they're okay with it. It's not really where they want to be. They have something else they want to do. Um, and they kind of just go with it instead of trying to figure out how to make what they wanted in the first place work with or how to use what they're doing to get where they want to go. Um, the hardest thing is knowing what you want. And then after you know what you want, you have to figure out how to get there. But the first step is knowing what you want. Because if you know what you want, You'd be surprised how clearly the answers come as to the path you need to take. So it's all about the path. It's the knowing and the path. So for everything you think you want to do or you want to achieve or you want to have, you have to know how to get those things. I mean, some things are as easy as going to the store. Some things are as easy as saving up for. You know, so it could be something you want and it could just be a matter of saving up. Get a plan. If you want a new house or you want a new something, um, put away $20 a week. I don't know. I mean, what, whatever it is you can afford, but you got to get a plan. You have to say, okay, I'm going to open a bank account in a bank, <laughs> not where I normally bank because I don't even want to know about this money. And every week I want to mail whatever amount to this other bank. I don't want checks for this account, just a little savings account. And then just do that. <laughs> with a goal, you know, and you might say, hey, you know, I have an extra 10 this week, let me throw that in there. Um, sometimes, some people have side jobs. You could say, I'm going to take all my side job money and put it away in this other account to get whatever that is, the house, the car, the new living room, furniture, whatever that is. So, everything takes, you know, first the idea and then the path, you know, the path to the goal. So, um, everything requires that. Uh, yeah, so, you know, do you know, that would be it, I guess. Do you know how to get where you want to go? Um, I had something else I was going to say and I totally lost my train of thought, so never mind, disregard. Anyway, so that was quick, simple, and easy. Everything takes a path, you know, it takes a plan and a path. So, you know, and if you don't, if you don't personally know, you never know who might know. And, you know, asking for help, asking for guidance, 
sitting down. I mean, that is where the stillness comes in that I was speaking of, in finding your stillness and meditating, praying. You're quiet. In the quiet is when the answers come. You would be so surprised if I told you some of the answers that I get when I'm quiet, when I really am trying to figure it out, and all of a sudden I hear a name or, or a word that just I would have never thought of. And, um, I mean, it's actually the little voice that led me to my space in the first place. I had a page for six months that I wouldn't even check. And one day I was meditating and I just heard my space, my space, my space. And I started actually, you know, getting involved in my space. That isn't how I started blogging, but, um, I started blogging because, um, Someone else sent me a blog. I didn't know what blogs were. I looked them up. And I did my, my research. And I decided that since I had this music page and I wanted to tell people what I was doing, from time to time I would just say stuff. And one day I said something and then I couldn't stop saying anything. <laughs> it just started flowing out of my body. So, um, but again, you never know what can come in the stillness. You never know what can come when you open your mouth and tell somebody like Roger did, this is what I'm interested in. You don't know where the information will come from. You don't know where the help will come from. You just know that it will come. So you have to have a plan. You have to have a goal. You have to have a plan. And you have to have patience. And those are you know, the three key elements to um, obtaining that which you desire. Um, anyway, so I hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend, and um, ponder on that, you know, do you know how to get where you want to go? And for those of you that are watching and don't comment or have been reading and don't comment, please feel free to comment because you never know what, who can benefit from what you have to say. Um, sometimes. I didn't say something or I might have missed a key point that someone else says that another person can benefit from. So don't feel like you don't have anything to say because you do and we can all benefit. I can benefit from what you have to say because sometimes I go back and read things and go, wow, I didn't see it that way so or I didn't think about that. So please feel free to, to comment and for those of you that have been sending me emails, um, I'm not not acknowledging them. A lot of the emails I get are about relationships, and I'm not not acknowledging the emails. I'm just going to talk about relationships next <laughs> next week, in the next few days. I promise I will. But kind of what I'm doing is leading up to that. So I didn't want you to think I was just ignoring you because I'm not. Um, if I didn't already answer you personally. All right. Anyway, so I hope that you're having um, a good weekend, and I hope you have a wonderful Sunday very peaceful, and um, be safe. I'll see you tomorrow night.